what is up this squad is your girl bb and i'm back with another video so if you're a new subscriber here thank you so much for tuning in uh, i hope you join the b squad family and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always supporting your girl and keeping it locked down in this channel you know how we will yeah so in today's video i am going to be talking about my pregnancy experience and how it affected me including the major transformation that happened in my body in general so if you're interested in topic like this why don't you just subscribe and be a part of this family so guys if you were subscribed to this channel if you have been on this channel from years back you can notice the, the first physical change here you can tell that your girl <laughs> your girl has put on some weight like a ton of weight like it's pretty obvious you can see it visibly yeah i know you guys can but if you're a new subscriber you might not see if you want to really see the difference of what i'm talking about and relate to it as much as the old subscribers i suggest you just look for one of my old videos from last year you can so you can understand exactly what i'm talking about so in this video i'll be sharing with you my own pregnancy experience just my pregnancy journey how it affected me physically mentally from my first to second to the third trimester did i just say third <laughs> third trimester so if this is something you like to watch i bet you will you should continue and watch the very last minute of this video because you're going to learn something and it's just going to expose you to things that you didn't know about being pregnant or starting a family and also it, you're just going to learn one or two things you might not know you might be the next mommy in town because i wish you all pregnancy like i wish you all big fat belly like this first of all can i tell you that as I am like this, I am clothless. What do I mean by I'm good? Like, I don't have clothes that fits me anymore. None of my old clothes fit. Like, I don't have any dress that fits me. You can see the kind of clothes I'm wearing. I have fitting dresses, but like, there are a few, but they are always too uncomfortable. So I always prefer to wear like big clothes like this, because I feel more comfortable wearing them this are, this is really breathable and i just feel uh, i just feel very comfortable wearing it but <laughs> let's just dive into this so the very first trimester was um was a difficult one it was the most difficult um trimester for me it was the most difficult time in my life <laughs> because if you know me aside seeing me on youtube you know that i am a very hyperactive person like i'm a vibrant person i'm the life of the party you get it see the life of the party the moment i'm talking about now the mental changes that occurred right because pregnancy is a is is, is as much as is natural is scientific it's also kind of like chemical because a lot go on in our body like a lot happened to our brain especially in the first trimester this is when your body is changing drastically adjusting to so many things so a lot is going to be happening that you don't even understand so in my first trimester it was all about me seeking um, satisfaction especially when I hadn't find found out that I was pregnant so I was sitting I was seeking satisfaction I was feeling unproductive because I wasn't putting the same energy to the things that I did but I was expecting the same result and when I wasn't getting that result it made me feel like made me feel like a failure per se it made me feel like I wasn't doing enough so I was sitting satisfaction but uh, my body wasn't just corporate so I became really irritable I became really irritable I was easily irritated I could easily get angry and um, every small thing would just, every little thing would just irritate me or infuriate me. And I just took it out all on my husband, which wasn't fair at the time. But we didn't know this was what was going on. So, but when we found out that I was actually pregnant, that was when he began to understand that, okay, this is actually what she's going through. This is not me acting out on him. This is just me not having control of whatever is going on in my body. At that first trimester I broke out a lot but now my face is all smooth even though I look darker but my face is smooth but the really first time I wish I had videos I, I would have showed you guys I really like I broke out broke out on my 
in my forehead just i had a lot of acne on my face which i didn't even understand where it was going because i've never really been that acne i don't have acne prone skin right yeah but i broke out a lot then i was weak i was lazy i was unmotivated i wasn't doing the things that i would do normally then i started having food aversion i also had a heightened appetite um but after that after eating a particular meal i'll end up having a version for that particular meal so it was just so hard for me to get what i want to eat before i eat i have to like think think and think before i can find something to eat and most of the time when i eat i end up throwing up so at a point i even became like really dehydrated so i had to start taking drips like every single week right i had to take drips like every single week just so i can stay alive and in that first trimester i could not do anything for myself guys see i could not make my hair i could not do my nails i was just i was just trying to survive like i was trying to live but a lot of people didn't know because i was still actually still posting pictures and videos especially on my ig so i don't think people really found out if they suspected that would be it later in life but it was actually a good time for me because he made me just sit back and relax like just take a break from the whole social media thing because at this point i could not do it anymore so it's not sounding as bad as it is but it was actually bad like it was really bad i wasn't happy honestly i wasn't happy but i thank god because whenever i'm so down i just think about the life that i'm carrying and what i'm producing what i'm making what i'm cooking and that just somehow keeps me going and thank god too for my husband he was really supportive in this first trimester and even to the end of the pregnancy and then after the first trimester into second trimester so in my second trimester that was when i really started experiencing like uh, some physical changes right i had an increased <laughs> Can you? can you see that <laughs> so that was when my boost like increased i went from wearing a size 32 c to wearing a size 38 d oh my god like who would ever think that i would grow that much breast <laughs> so that was what happened the first is coaching that happened then secondly i started getting really dark on my neck area I was zooming so you guys can just see my neck area still getting really dark then also i had something called pregnancy line i don't know if you guys can see but i'll try and get a a, clo a clearer video started having pregnancy line this like um i don't know what it, it is but it's like a demarcation between my body this side is dark and this side is fake so it's i also have that like it's like my body is divided into two half is fair half is um dark the only thing that I could <coughs> relate it to was pregnancy line when i googled it then my legs right then another thing that happened <coughs> the second trimester was i grew nails if you know me you know that my nails never grow like they never grow even if they grow they end up breaking but since i got pregnant i've had really like strong nice nails that i can actually just put acrylic paints on and just go my way they grow so fast even when i break them intentionally they just really go like i i just pray and wish and hope that this new remain after i give birth another physical change that happened was um was me having bum bum i used to be a flat ass girl but now you need to see me oh i wish i could wiggle it a bit for you guys but someone's husband is going to be jealous so i rather not so yeah that's that's it and um the next thing that happened so my tummy didn't really start growing till i was like seven to eight months pregnant if you watched my gender review video that was me legit 24 weeks pregnant 24 weeks is supposed to be about six months so i don't think i looked six months pregnant but in the second trimester at almost the end like the eight months that was when my tummy actually started growing then now into the third trimester that was when my tummy just grew poof so my tummy just grew like poof and at this point my tummy has stretched to the to the to the extent that 
I have started having stretch mark around my novel area because I feel like before now my novel area used to be like that's like my waistline the tiniest part of my waist so having a baby in there is like stretching and over stretching so I'm having stretch mark around that area but not so obvious not as bad as I expected honestly I'm not even gonna lie not as bad as I expected but it has really increased then another thing that happened to me is like so i didn't know that babies weigh this much like imagine carrying two watermelons in front of you you know how heavy watermelon is that's the like that is the closest thing i can use to explain to you how, how much these babies weigh inside right so right now i feel like i'm carrying a watermelon inside my tummy because we have gone we have gotten to the time it's almost we are almost due for delivery so is the size of a watermelon i can't stand up on my own <laughs> i need my husband like every minute of the day to help me lift myself if not my perfect bone is going to pop and i will have round ligament pain in fact the round ligament pain started about the second trimester when my tummy hadn't even grown to this much but now it's just about my perfect popping yeah transmission oh god i thought i was recording apparently i wasn't so i was saying that at this point um i'm so heavy that i can't really help myself but i'm trying to stay active as much as i can even though it's not been easy but i try my best to be active but most of all this pregnancy has taught me a lot it has made me a better person i've done things that i wouldn't imagine like stay strong i'm a cry baby so i thought i would just <laughs> cry from the beginning to the end of it all but i really stay strong I, I i also stay really healthy i stayed healthy i try to eat healthy and just balance my meal um make my meals my meal balance even though i i eat a lot of trash and sugary stuff <laughs> but i've really tried to stay strong and um but how can i define the third trimester i will say i'm exhausted i'll say i'm anxious i will say i'm tired i will say i'm expectant as well but most of all even though i'm counting down this pregnancy has really taught me patience let me increase this it has really taught me patience and also it's taught me to appreciate love more it's taught me to appreciate the decision i made more and um pregnancy is a bittersweet experience so if you're not dealing with the right person this is the time that it's just going to tell on you because there's so much one person can take but there, there are much more that someone in love with you someone that respects your being someone that fears god let me just put it that way someone that honors god can take it's a whole lot it's not a sweet experience per se yeah the sweetness is there you get happy once in a while but it's not always sweet i'm not going to lie to you guys trust me it's not always sweet you see time flying by you see your life being on a pause you just see a lot of things that you love to do that you don't do you get comments from people people that don't even know you and the people that know you i'm going to make an entire video about the things you shouldn't even say to pregnant women but it's going to be like not this video it's going to be my next video i'm going to share with you guys some horrible things that i've heard okay and the things that i shouldn't tell anybody even if the person is your close friend so yeah i think this is just it this is my journey there are a lot of things that i think i have i skipped but pregnancy i blame it on pregnancy brain i blame it on pregnancy brain because as much as i want to remember i have a note here but i still feel like there are lots of things that i didn't include yeah but as time goes on i promise to give you guys all the gist all the tea everything you need to know so if you still have questions about pregnancy put them down below i'm willing and open to answer you 
if you are single if you are married if you are married if you're just curious about something just ask me i'm going to share my honest opinion with you so thank you so much for watching and again see you in my next video bye